They are the deadliest animals on earth. The common mosquito. This small insect packs a nasty bite. It is the host to a variety of hitchhiking pathogens and parasites. And mosquitoes have a fascinating life cycle. The female mosquito. In addition to feeding off of plant juices, she needs blood in order to have offspring. She senses body odor, heat, and carbon dioxide in order to locate her host. After one is found, she penetrates the skin with needle-like mouth parts. She injects saliva containing an anticoagulant that makes extracting blood simpler. This saliva is responsible for itchy mosquito bites. It is also through the saliva that she may unknowingly transmit parasites. A successful meal lasts only a few minutes. In this time span, she ingests two to four times her own body weight in blood, which is essential for egg production. After she feeds, her body begins making eggs. After she has been inseminated by males, she is a good mother. And so she carefully and attentively lays each individual egg on the surface of still water. The eggs lock together to form egg rafts on the water surface. However, this tricky task can sometimes get messy. First, the eggs are soft and white, but soon they darken and harden until they are black, rigid and impermeable. This protective exterior guards a small embryo that is developing into a larva within. After a bit of time and under the right conditions, the eggs hatch and the larvae wiggle freely into their new watery home. Thus begins their aquatic stages of life, during which the larvae are often preyed upon by predators in the wild and only if they are lucky they will fully develop into their aspired adult form. This larva lives in very still water, so it must make its own water currents in order to obtain food. If the larva does not intake a sufficient amount of nutrients, it has little chance of making it to maturity. The entire larval stage is spent eating and growing after enough of that has taken place the larva undergoes an even more drastic change. The developing mosquito has made a home for itself inside of the external cuticle where it will undertake its dramatic final transformation. But it will remain motionless unless it encounters a threat. Amazing things are happening inside of this pupil cuticle. The adult has fully formed within. So the pupa rests at the water surface. It takes in a lot of air, which in turn creates pressure in the cuticle, causing it to split down its midline. The adult gradually emerges from its pupal structure and steps out into the world for the first time. It will face many hardships but mosquitoes are feisty creatures. Here in a laboratory, we find the deadliest, most dangerous animal in the world. The mosquito. This merciless, blood-sucking insect kills more than one million people every year, which it does by transmitting pathogens and parasites as it drinks your blood. And mosquitoes have a bizarre life cycle. Typically, mosquitoes feed off of plant juices, but the females have a special thirst for blood, which they need to drink in order to reproduce. That's right, the female mosquito is born to prey a true femme fatale. This insect vampire, she senses her host by detecting odors, carbon dioxide, and heat. She pierces the skin with needle-like mouth parts. She injects saliva, which makes sucking easier. It also transmits parasites and pathogens, causing those itchy, annoying, 
grotesque mosquito bites. She then probes for a blood source and engorges herself, ingesting two to four times her body weight in blood. A true winged death trap machine, the female harvests proteins from the blood she extracts from her victims and uses it to produce eggs to multiply. After she's done sucking her prey's blood and is engorged, eggs begin to form in her body. She finds stagnant water and lays her eggs on the surface. They then lock together to form rafts of eggs, but sometimes killer vampires mess up too. The eggs are soft and white, but they soon harden and darken. This protective exterior guards an embryo that is developing into a ravenous, wriggly larva inside. Talk about Satan's spawn. Under the proper conditions, the egg caps burst off and tiny larvae squirm out into the water where the next phase takes place. The larvae instantly wriggle to the surface of the water, and soon their mouth parts expand and get to work. In this life stage, they're focused on one thing and one thing only, collecting food and growing bigger and bigger bigger. They live in still water so they can create their own currents to secure food. And these are no picky eaters. Their only limitation is whether they can handle the size of the food. Some species have even been known to ingest other mosquito larvae. They grow a ton during this stage. They are like voracious machines, hell-bent on taking in the food particles they need to develop. Then they undergo an even more freakish change. During the pupil stage, the developing mosquito is encased in a cuticle. Mosquito pupae use two respiratory projections on their heads to take in air. These weird appendages are called trumpets, but they really resemble devil horns. They are silently undergoing a huge and insane change inside, just waiting to break free. The pupae rest on the water surface, intaking a ton of air, which creates high pressure in the cuticle, causing it to literally rupture down the midline. The adult then gradually appears, a vampire emerging from its coffin. It takes its first steps onto the water and is still. It flies off on a bloodthirsty hunt for its first victim. This freakish process plays out again and again, a life cycle driven by blood. This is the incredible, noble mosquito. Like most of the greats, they're hugely misunderstood and are a lot like us. We can integrate ourselves into their life cycle, forget our human forms, our human shackles, and become a part of it. A brave and determined mother, the heroic and unapologetic female mosquito risks everything to get the blood that will provide for her and her children. She's so sensitive, she picks up on body odor, carbon dioxide, and heat to find a source. Once she has taken it in, the lovely scarlet blood will aid her in producing eggs, which will demand so much of her energy. She finds calm water and then, with focus, perseverance, and affection, she delicately and artfully lays each individual egg. The eggs darken and harden to guard the beautiful embryonic forms of life that are prospering inside. Finally, in a frenzy of spirit, the eggs burst open and the larvae swim free. Wild things, their home is the water, their grand quest unfolds before them. The larvae breathe in the sweet air and draw the rich water into their mouths. Those eyes, so wise and tender, they look right back at you. They understand and respect you so much more than any human could try to. Beautiful big eyes, they're like little underwater people. Their stunning mission is to collect enough food to grow and to make it to their next stage of being, becoming, and life. Look at how big they get. That is one big larva. They are flourishing. 
in the pupil stage. They are quiet, thoughtful, contemplative, and revelatory. They have renounced food and are undergoing a brave metamorphosis inside of the external pupil cuticle, an internal and personal transformation that will test them and lead them to their victory. The glorious mosquito is ready for a new beginning. Its former layer falls away, and like a phoenix, it rises. Thus begins a new generation, raw, glorious survival, life's interminable cycles. It is so humbling and invigorating. Here we see the mosquito. This animal is responsible for more than one million human deaths every year. We will never quite understand the fight for survival, the obscenity and misery that compounds the mosquito life cycle. It is as much a cycle of death and of violence as it is of life. With perfectly constructed apparatuses, she extracts blood. She is designed for this and, as such, is designed to perpetuate the collective murder and violent struggle of life. Inharmoniously and with complete disregard, she preys upon other beings. She is programmed to do so as a product of the natural world she belongs to. Cruel, base, violent, putrid, outrageous. After the female has fornicated with males, she mechanically lays the eggs on the water surface. They darken and harden to keep the exploitative water out. More life is multiplying, unstoppable, like a cancer inside the eggs. Fighting to survive, the larvae painstakingly hatch from the eggs. At this stage, they are mindless machines, merely concerned with intaking, processing, and assimilating nutrients, while surviving at any cost. Their eyes convey nothing but the absolute indifference of nature. These are not cute animals. It is their painful hunger that drives them onward. As pupae, they are apathetically still. They mechanically develop inside of the cuticle, taking their horrible adult form. The mosquito emerges violently from its pupil structure. They are bound for more misery and the same programmed life and death stages. They will move through them automatically, indifferently. 